The municipal corporation of Morbi has taken full responsibility for the bridge collapse that took place. Uh, this is what they have uh, written in their affidavit that's been submitted to the Gujarat High Court. They have said the bridge should never have been open. The Gujarat High Court has directed the chief of the municipal corporation to be present in the High Court on the 24th of November. That is the date for the next hearing. Remember, the uh, Gujarat High Court had taken up the matter of the Morbi bridge tragedy in which 130 35 people died. Over 50 of them were just children. And uh, the uh, Gujarat High Court there are asking for reports to be submitted on the first day of the hearing. Uh, the Municipal Corporation did not appear and that uh, uh, angered the justices. Uh, they were asked to appear the next day and submit their report. And now in that report, they have uh, taken responsibility and uh, said that it is their uh, responsibility, the entire bridge collapse tragedy that took place and uh, the bridge should never have been opened. Remember the bridge collapse that took place on the 30th uh, of October and uh, it had opened just four days earlier on the 26th of October. Let's go across to Tanushri uh, for more on this story and Tanushri give us more details about what uh, happened in court. Well, Gargi, yesterday the High Court asked uh, the Council for Municipal Corporation of Morbi to submit their affidavit by the evening or else pay a fine of rupees 1 lakh. Uh, last uh, last uh, late evening, the Council of Morbi Municipal Corporation uh, filed their reply in the High Court in which they took responsibility, as you rightly pointed out, for the Morbi bridge collapse. The Council said, and uh, while uh, they were reading the affidavit in the court, they clearly said that the bridge, bridge was in a weak condition, the bridge was in a dangerous condition and, and it shouldn't have been opened on the 26th of October. They take uh, partial responsibility for it. And uh, the council also said that, um, uh, you know, while the presser was done by the Oreva company, while they were opening the bridge, there was an inauguration. But yes, uh, the, the, the corporation, as it's the concerned authority, they were not present there, but it, it takes responsibility for the loss of lives of one people. Now, it's a huge development because for the first time ever since the tragedy, Gargi, uh, the government authority, which is the municipal corporation of Morbi, they have come on record and taken responsibility for this huge tragedy and for this huge negligence on their part. Now, what is interesting here is the Gujarat High Court has asked the chief of Municipal Corporation of Morbi, Sandeep Singh Zala, to be present in person in the next date of hearing, which is November 24th. The Chief Justice has clearly said that I would want to hear from the chief of Municipal Corporation Morbi directly as to why, you know, the permission was given for the bridge to be open, thrown open for public and where was the municipal corporation uh, chief when the bridge was getting open and when the inauguration were happening and what really went behind what kind of negligence must have went behind that caused uh, the bridge to collapse and loss of lives of 135 people i think it's a huge development because the gujarat high court has been coming down very heavily on the state government now but for the first time ever we see uh, you know a government authority and administration a uh, gujarat uh, morbi uh, municipal corporation taking responsibility for that tragedy which is perhaps one of the biggest tragedies ever seen in India due to a criminal negligence, uh, you know, on the part of the administration, Gargi. Uh, that's right, uh, Tanushree. And also, if we talk about this hearing at the High Court, this is something the High Court took up on its own, given the you know full uh, extent of this tragedy, given so many people had died, and it was such a you know clear case of negligence uh, that this over a hundred-year-old bridge had been uh, opened without any sort of safety checks, and the fact that over 400 people were on the bridge at the time. So this is something uh, the High Court took up on its own, and on the first day of the hearing, uh, the Municipal Corporation didn't even appear. Absolutely, Gargi, and it, you know, it shows the priority of the municipal corporation. They just not did appear, Gargi, on the second day also, after two Gahai court notices and after more than 15 days of the tragedy, the municipal corporation did not even file an affidavit until and unless they were told by the high court that either you file the affidavit by evening or you pay a fine of rupees 1 lakh. So, you know, in that case, the municipal corporation right. decided to file uh, the affidavit. And in fact, Gargi, the council yesterday said that uh, the deputy collector who represents the Morbi municipal corporation is busy with election duty and that is why he couldn't file the affidavit. So I think Argi, now the Gujarat the High Court taking Suomoto cognizance is something where we are going to seek some kind of an action.